Tannery, the process of producing leather from hides, is an industry that can provide up to a billion dollars in revenue by 2025. And that's the estimation made by the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, during the Economic Summit Group Conference this year. Khan states the commercial hub of business activities in the north is known for its leather quality, providing the largest export of leather from the region. But the tannery industry comes with its own challenges, such as managing the waste generated. Some of the machines, at every point in time, there is waste that we generate. So uh, part of the research and the workshop that is going on currently, we want to see how we can improve on this waste management, how we can transform the waste into wealth. This workshop seeks to address the issues. This waste has been an issue for many years, and not only to us, not only to the industry, but to the community. And so we want to employ the approach of an, let me say, an engagement between the researchers or the academic community, the industry, the government, and even the society. Some of the students are already researching at selected tanneries to create other products from leftover leather. The state has to drive the economy, okay? Which means they have to support researchers in the universities. They have to support the industries if the industries are in crisis. And of course, they have to promote international economic relations in which these industries would dispose what they have actually produced. It's a wake-up call for those whose research work has been on the shelf for years. It is now that I realize I have important research with me, which is kept lying low in the libraries. I have a range of recommendations. During this workshop, I, I have observed that some of my recommendations are actually being called on to be implemented by the industries and by the government. Younger researchers are also being encouraged to find solutions to create wealth from tannery waste. The language of the industry is all about Nara and Kobo. How do they make profit? How do they make their, how do they lower their cost of production? How do they make more sales? And uh, at the end of the day, how do they generate more revenue? So it is good if the academia will begin to think like this and talk to them along this line. Tanneries have gained a negative image because of the high polluting nature of their effluents. With about 32 of such companies in Kano, the tanning process is believed to be the most environmentally polluting industry because of the animals' discharge into the waters. From Kano Commercial City, Nanchin Vincent, Channels Television News.